It's a beautiful day to go to Bahrain. Oh, Bahrain, a new, here we go. A new country. Another new country. Look at that beautiful water. Here we go. Manama tonight Bahrain night this building in front of me it's completing self-sufficient if you can see it even has turbines in between that's where I was living tonight if you believe it yesterday we were in the desert 40 degrees and today we we're wearing beanies and jackets Lunch in a kid. And you also had breakfast. And I also had breakfast. Right, right, made it right. Yeah. This is actually oldest mosque in Bahrain. It's a mosque.
Habibi shop. Oh, Habibi looks very fancy. Yep. Wow. So today we went to IKEA for free internet in Kuwait. Kuwait. And you wouldn't believe it. We sat down because it was fully booked just Friday and everybody was having breakfast in the cafeteria. So we went to have coffees and a little bit of breakfast. And we sat down with this wonderful man from Kuwait. And he was like better than going to any museum. He taught us Haliwali. 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 Haliwali means forget, forget it. it which is only Kuwaiti saying, like an idiotism. And the stories he told us, we couldn't have got from history books. <laughs> we couldn't have got from anything. He, he was funny, but, but informative. Ah, yeah. He was single. He had a family, obviously, but they'd all grown up and left. We didn't ask about the wife. We just assumed that she passed. But he has a four-story house and a basement. And he bought the land from 4,000 off the government for 4,000. 100, yeah. KD, uh, Kuwaiti dollars, and then he got a loan for 70,000 Kuwaiti dollars from the government. To build it? To build it, and then the war came, mm -hmm. and then they all gave it away free. So he got and it free. Yeah, he got it free. And he was working for the government as a clerk. Yeah, civil yeah. servant. Civil servant, and now he has more money that he can uh, think, so he's just enjoying life. But every day he goes to IKEA, and he sits here and has a cup of tea. That's all he has yeah. for about three hours. Cup of tea every day at IKEA. He catches taxis and the bus because he doesn't want to drive, he doesn't want a car. He doesn't want the headache of he the car. He doesn't want the headache. And uh, it he, was so special. Anyway, he, we just he, thought we'd tell you the story. He didn't want to take a picture because he wasn't uh, didn't have he shave. hadn't shaved. Yeah. <laughs> and he would have been, I guess, about 65, 70. Yeah, around there. But wealth of knowledge, very switched on. We talked about the war and everywhere. Yeah. In Iraq. Politics we talked Iraq, about. Ukraine, politics. Jobs, jobs, everything. Yeah, very amazing. Great man. Haliwali. Haliwali. Hali you never know where you're meeting in Ikea. Haliwali, Haliwali. Hey, and also, it's Mummy's 75th birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy. Happy birthday, Mummy. Right, downtown Kuwait City in the soup. We just went for breakfast in the soup. And I think we got ripped. Sure. The price you have to pay as a tourist. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Cool graffiti. And a souk. There's a kid that's crying. Thank you. 